Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we will be taking a look at Tesla stock and important key levels to watch on it for price action for tomorrow and the rest of this week. With that, please hit the like and subscribe and please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. So boy oh boy, the market has been on a rip and it has been continuing. You can look up here QQQ and SPY and NEO. Well, wow, at one point it was 12% up today, guys. So I did a video on NEO covering all of that today. So the video is on my channel. Definitely check it out if you're interested. I would highly recommend to check it out because it's been really on a rip today. Well, so now let's see what's been going on with Tesla and what are the important key levels we need to be watching with Tesla. Alrighty. Now, you are seeing some lines on my chart right there are horizontal lines and then we have these trend lines right so let's talk about first where these two trend lines came from right so these has been so tesla has been following this as an it was falling as this overhead resistance right and we broke out of it now i have covered all of this here that short sellers were piling up in this area and we were expecting an explosive move out of it, right? Once we break this, uh, the trend line to the upside, we got that explosive move. And then Tesla started running into this another overhead resistance. That's the next place, right? That is around $260 together with this trend line that is coming in from the pivot points down at over here, over there. And then, um, you know, for, this is the start of this pivot line. So, and then Tesla has been running into this resistance over here. So you, you get the idea of where these two lines are coming from. So I just want to, you know, tell you those. I just don't really want to tell you everything in the air and let you figure it out on your own. I don't want to do that. I want you to know how these lines even came up here on the chart, right? Now, all these horizontal lines, you already know part of my indicators. I'll talk about it maybe later, but these are the horizontal levels that Tesla has right now. So what are we seeing? Well, there are m many things here to take to look at. So Tesla is above 200 days moving average, above 50 days moving average, and above 20 days moving average. Tesla has been still following this higher high. For now, we can say higher low but this is where i want you to keep this picture in mind i said for now right why because there are a couple of things now the first one being and that is going to be apparent when i show you the daily short volume percent and let me turn that on on my indicator so you can see with tesla short sellers are piling up here again 44 percent short volume percent that has been coming and then 42 percent over here yes it did go lower well anything above 35 percent on tesla i consider quite high short volume percent and you can see it's coming around where this overhead resistance is when we saw the explosion out of this short uh, volume percent concentration we had the less short volume right and a lesser short volume percent so you can see why this data is so important together with these levels right but keeping that in mind, well, today's short volume percent will come after market post market close in the evening. So I'm not seeing here if that's why for today, but you can see that short sellers are again piling up here, right in this area. So keep this in mind as we go down to the hourly interval. Yes, Tesla went up. My day trading part also was profitable. We'll talk about all that stuff as well. However, don't forget that the short sellers are still coming in, okay? Now, as I said, today's short volume percent will come later tonight so if you have access to my indicator you can see it for yourself um but then i'll talk about that you know when we have that data but something always to be watching hey what are the short volume percent coming around important levels now let me turn that off for now so that our chart is cleaner and i can then talk about other things so as i said tesla is still in an uptrend but we have these you know overhead resistance running into that let's jump into hourly interval to talk more about what type of moves at what levels can be taken on tesla now okay so i'm on the hourly interval here on tesla 
And I just showed you there were short sellers piling up here, right, in this area. So this is a very critical, important level, right? you got to be watching this level, guys. Even today, we rejected at 258 and 25 cents, right? Don't forget this level, 258 and 29 cents. This is where short sellers are present a lot. I showed you on the daily interval. This is where we have resistance we are running into. Even my levels are yelling here, hey, we have the short volume person and the short sellers are coming in here, right? So sorry, I'm emphasizing it quite hard enough because it is very important, this level to watch, okay? so. Well, so yeah, now going to the further down here, what else are we seeing? So we are above 200 hours moving average, that's for sure. We are above 20 and 50 hours moving average as well. That's great. Cool off. What type of cool off on Tesla? If Tesla can't break above tomorrow $257, then there is a cool off play that can be taken on Tesla all the way to $252. If we break below that, watch this 200 hours moving average and most likely we will be testing 247, okay? The break above $258 on Tesla can give it a room to run all the way up to 264, but not above that. But yes, this is where it can run into this overhead resistance. So definitely keep an eye on that breakout above $258 level. So your first sum confirmation is above $257. Then final confirmation is above $258 and $0.20. And then it's a breakout continuation to the upside. So yeah, guys, so Tesla... You have to trade level by level right now, okay? Because I'm seeing short sellers coming in. They're piling up here, right? But then we have certain areas because market is strong, but short sellers are coming on Tesla. So technically, it's supposed to go down. And with the overhead you know, limit at $262 or $265, but provided with the market when it starts falling, We'll take a look at QQ and SPY as well in just a second. You have, you can trade it as a cool off to the downside, okay? Um, again, trade with the levels. There's a play to the upside as well, and there's a play to the downside as well on both sides. We, if we start falling, let's say we come down to 247 and then eventually to 243, then we can start talking about some swing long plays around this lower boundary of the channel, okay? But until then, it is not a... Uh, yeah, you have, when, when I say not a long swing, long play, it's yes, it's an intraday play right now. And maybe swing short, but not below. So that's why it's turning more like a intraday play only for now on Tesla. You know, there's, I'm hesitant to talk about any swing plays because there is just none. You can also follow this trend line on the hourly interval for Tesla for intraday plays for the confirmation of breakout to the downside or supportive holds then continuation to the upside to this con to the wedge over here, right? Which is pretty much the upper side of $264, right? Well, all great there, right? Now let's take a look at five minutes interval and let's talk about a couple of things. So again, if you have my Junior Trader Universal Indicator access, guys, you can just trade using the levels here, the orange lines, which is the part of day trading level plus. Now, uh, if you want to take a picture of how my settings looks like, this is how my settings looks like. You can take a snapshot of it or whatever, but um, you know, I have self-adaptive level on, uh, intraday levels, significant levels on, and day trading levels plus as well on, which is for what I use for day trading as well. And then I'll go over my bot as well. But guys, you can see that when you see a price action holding at one of the levels, you can trade it all the way to the next level, the next level, and this was the another confirmation, right? We break out of it and we can see continuation to the upside. And yeah, just trade it to the next level, guys, right? That's pretty much it. Um, we can see that the another one was we went this orange line here. It's not very apparent, um, but you can see there is dotted behind the blue line, but that was another level. You can change the colors as well in the settings of the indicator, but we went pretty much close to there. So just trade it with these levels, guys, you know, for intraday trading. And, you know, this is my day trading bot as well. 
Um, so on Tesla as well, good moves today. Uh, we got in early when Tesla was falling, there was no position given, and then we got in good profitable move. And again, guys, not every day will be profitable. You can see in the table left hand side. That's just the data for the last 15 uh, days. Uh, there are four low losing days and rest are profitable days. Um, and you can set all these settings based on which stock you are trading, right? Like you can set the sell profit percent at whatever level. The stop losses are hard coded. When I say hard coded, I mean there are certain er criteria for stop losses because right now I'm not giving that flexibility because usually people then don't take stop losses. I wanna make sure that when the stop loss hit, it's hit right but i'm giving out those customization as well so but anyways there's a lot more customizations coming but this is some of the settings you can set and then set you can set alerts as well then on these based on particular stocks you can customize these settings per stock per instrument and set your alerts and that way you know be your own king right so all in all great moves guys that was tesla on my day trading bot this is qqq also going great um and then on this is on spy also looking great so well yeah this is pretty much what you know i you know also use guys for my uh, day trading and all in all um you know if this is all what interests you guys these are my memberships the links are in the description below all my indicators day trading bot is part of elite membership and every next membership contains what was what is being offered in the previous membership so Wall Street Alerts, part of premium membership together with BASIC, which is my universal indicator, my stock watch indicator, LA contains everything in premium and BASIC and my day trading bot as well. And if you plan to join for um, six months or for a year, just reach out to me on Discord. Uh, you know, I can offer a discount or something as well. And But links, you, Discord link is in the YouTube channel, guys. And then membership links is in the description of this video. That will take you to the Patreon link and then any questions that you have we can talk about there all right now taking a look at qq and spy so let's turn that on again and okay i just wanted to show you my stock watch indicator as well this is like you can track multiple stocks as per your preference you can set it in the settings which stocks you want to track their trend their direction whatnot you can set the intervals however you like uh, that is also one of my indicators all right so let's go to the uh spy let's talk about the daily interval here on spy so well, yeah, SPY has been really ripping up, right? Um, we can see it is looking strong, right? Now, SPY is, and this is something I have to adjust on my indicator, guys. So, you know, you can see that there's levels up on the top, but it's not showing up because this is a customizable setting that you can do on my indicator. Just move the timeline to that price action, which in the past has a price action around that level and then that level will show up so now you can see that on spy guys we still have you know technically spy is still bullish okay um it's quite steep quite bullish i think we're gonna end the year really strong and maybe all-time highs 480 is the all-time high on spy so very likely we might be going up there we are quite bullish all in all i can see on rsi there's some divergence forming but the confirmation is not there to the downside cool off the confirmation for the cool off is below $473. If we break below it, then you can expect some cool off, but it's not going to be a strong cool off, guys. There is not a, there is not a final single confirmation for short side on SPY, okay? Yes, it's overbought. They, these are the places to sell, but I would not recommend shorting it here. Um, it's just not that, uh, it's just not showing those confirmations right now, okay? Now this is QQQ, which is NASDAQ. This is uh, this is our above all time highs already. So anything below 404 can give you a play below uh, up to 394, but have your stop loss on either side, right? Whichever direction you take. But QQQ has no sign of downside right now. Yes, it's extended. This is where you might want to take profit, but does it mean it can be traded short? Uh, I'm not seeing any of those signs right now on the swing side. Intraday, you already know you can just, you know, um, yeah, let's take a look at intraday if there is any short play. Well, I would highly suggest against it. Don't even think of short on QQ and SPY right now. It's so strong. Again, does it mean it's not going to fall tomorrow? Yes, it can fall. But is it giving me any confirmation of short plays? No. I mean, yeah, this thing, guys, 
yeah even if it breaks below 410 and 49 cents 407 can come but that will still keep it in an uptrend that's what i don't i don't want to recommend trading against the trend so the cool offs you know i think this is the time to take the profits you know every day you can't and you should not think of taking a swing position or uh reverse direction there are plays that happens at certain intervals and levels and you have to enter at that level right now it's just not the place where i'm comfortable opening any position this is the time to take the profits right um when a good position will start developing i'll start talking about it but those cool off places are 407 dollars that could be a potentially an area to reload for an upside but yeah qq is very strong as well okay well, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.